This video is sponsored by Studio Bebop and YuGeoPrices.com. What's up guys, this is Olympio coming at you with a new deck profile of my Heretics, basically just a updated version. Um, done a lot of testing, really, 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 really loving Heretics currently. Uh, the deck, I just I just really like how the deck goes and with the with the new support that it's got like <clears throat> The, you can say it's like not technically support for them, but it just fits in so well it feels like it was support for us. So <laughs> without further ado, I'll get into the deck profile. And uh, yeah, so there are some changes, as I said, but um, I've had a lot of people asking for it. So here are the, here are the changes. So as usual, we have the three Tefnuit. We have the three Sue. Really want this card to come out in super. Uh, sorry, just hit the camera. Uh, just... Uh, then we have three Neb Thet. Um I do realise in my previous video I made a royal cock up of getting Neb Thet and Esset mixed around. Uh, I do know what this does and I do know what, <laughs> do know what Esset does. Uh, that was just me um, getting mixed up and I do apologise for that. But, as I said in the previous video, Neb Thet is at three. And uh, I've had a lot of people arguing saying Neb Thet should always be at three. I disagree. And it is just down to personal preference, but now I see the advantage of having it just because, you know, Star Eater is a thing. So it's quite nice to actually have a level 5 to go into consistently. Then we have the three assets. So, as I said, three, 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 three. Don't really need to say much about them. Uh, then we have the two vanillas. Always different now, Wattail and uh, Labradoric Dragon. Um, a lot of people have just been using two of the new dragon, and I, did, I, I think you'd have to have what tail because change of disappearance is still a thing, and I know that people don't really use it at all. It's still a thing, and if heretics get popular again, people might start siding it. You never know. And also, what tail is used in the original heretic OTK if you've only got heretics, so that's why I use it, and that's just why I think it's decent. Then we have the two Dragard. Dragard is just such a good fucking card in this deck. Mainly because of this. These two combined is just instant Trident Dragon. So it's really nice. It's a dark target for BLS. And it just has great synergy with the deck. You hardly ever use your normal summon, so you can happily summon this guy and just go straight into a uh, straight into, you know, a Trident Dragon. Um in my previous combo video I showed how you can do one one 11,600 damage with just two heretics and a dragard and a lot of people were kind of stunned that I could do that because it's just ridiculous the amount of damage you can put on board just with that so yeah a really good card and it's working really well at two. Uh, then we have the one BLS because I have a lot more darks in here now the one red eyes still need to get it in ultra. Exodus new one reason I'm running Exodus is simple I like to keep my resources if you know if you start to go into a grind game it's quite difficult. Um Exodus is just nice to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's also good to get the vanillas out of the deck, so you don't want to draw them, so it's a bit more deck thinning. And it's also a good stuff max target because now um this is level eleven, uh Trident Dragons eleven, uh Trigodias, you know, you just everything you can use. Um it just it just means you can get a little bit more uh, power on board with um, Gustav Max, so it's really nice to have. Speak of the Devil, then we have the one Trigodia. It did have two, but I've cut it, cut one of them uh, just to make space because I literally have hardly any space left in this deck. Um, two Karkar D, it's gone down to two. Again, I'm saying I have hardly any space in this deck now, um, and I will not go above 40. So, two Karkar D, that's basically explanatory why, you all know why, but Karkar D is so good. And then the two Maxi for the to round up the monster lineup, just because Maxi is Max C. So then going on to the spells, we have three Heretic Seal of Convocation. Don't need to say anything about that. We have the three Mystical Space Typhoons. Don't need to say anything about that. Uh, we have the two Stoic Challenges. Cards still there representing. You know, if 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 I see a need to put it in a deck, if I see a good reason why, then it will go in there. Um, yep, Stoic Challenge is amazing. Again, uh, it got cut down to two in my previous video because of space issues. Um, that's exactly why it's still at two. Pot of Duality, because it's space issues, but it's also good for consistency. Um, two Lance, because you want to keep your plays going and you don't want to you know, get destroyed by their back row. 
So that's all of the spells, and then going on to the final four traps is exactly the same in my previous video. We have two breakthrough skill and two traps done. Breakthrough skill for the Orpheans and the horrible effect monsters you don't want to see, and traps done so you can happily go in your OTKs and uh, not really care about anything that they have. It also means that you can happily use Sue's effect without, you know, without being worried about what they're going to do. So then going on to the extra deck, we have three Atom, standard, three Guy Dragon, standard, cards are so good. Um, then the level sixes, we have the one Photon Strike Bouncer, we have the one, sorry, just not that, uh, one Photon Strike Bouncer, one M7, the one uh, Key Beetle, sorry, Exa Beetle, <laughs> and the one Gauntlet Launcher. People forget how good this card is, I will say this every single time, this card is stupid. The fact you can just go, oh yeah, pop two of your monsters, overlay, it's just too good. So yeah, so they're the, uh, the four level sixes. Um, then we have a, this, the one level five again, just in case. Pallades, he's good to have, um, he wins me a surprising amount of games. Uh, and then the final XYZ monster is um, Gustav Max, because who doesn't want um, a 3-3 three, three, uh, beat stick? That well, a 3k beat stick that uh, you know does 2k damage, and then the final synchros big, big monsters. I've upped it to two Triton Dragon because I run two Dragard, it only makes sense. And then the one Star Eater because I hardly ever go into it. Well, I do uh, saying that I do go into it, um, but it's I when I do have the option to go into it, it just completely depends on the situation. And Star Eater is a great card to have. And it does put your opponent in some horrible situations, but he's just good at one, and he's there if I need him as a last, you know, kind of like a last resort. Try and dragon, however, too good. So <laughs> the reason why I bumped Dragard up is because of this card, and uh, with the more synchros that are going to be coming out, um, I do believe that Dragard is just a great spot in the deck, and he will stay there for the time being. So that is it guys, this is a very short, quick update, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, that's basically just the update, uh, if you have any questions about the deck, my kind of like texts or opinions or anything like that, do let me know, and uh, yeah, cheers, like, comment, subscribe, and catch you guys later.